No, oh, this is very, very strange. High strangeness. We're getting into some Hoover territory with this baloney here. Hey everyone, it's Matt from House of Vacuums and uh, thank you for joining me on the workbench again today. Today we have a Bissell and this guy is uh, kind of a weird one. Um, so customer brought it in and I turned it on real quick just to kind of see what was going on. He dropped it off on a Saturday when I was working. So what we ended up finding was there was no suction even though the vacuum's not clogged. It's very weird. So we're going to take a look at this and see if we can come up with why this is happening because it's a it's a very strange uh, problem that we're having with this guy. So let's go ahead and what we're going to do is um, we are going to take the hose off. First thing I'm going to do is just verify that the hose going down to the floor is not clogged. All right, so it is now pulling through the uh, vacuum's hose that goes to the nozzle. That is clear. Now what we're going to do is we are testing it from this hose, which connects to the floor, up to here. That feels fine. So there's no clog in it at this point. Now, what we need to do is we need to figure out why there was no suction. I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy in. We're going to give him a run and see if I was just missing something since I was in a hurry. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy in and we're going to run him and see if there's any suction coming through this hose. There's the smallest, I mean smallest amount of suction coming through the hose. It's um very very little. So what I'm going to do now is we're basically now just kind of playing a game of like like chasing down wherever this uh, this problem is. I'm going to check and see this is the intake for the motor so I want to see if this has good suction. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on again. There is hardly any suction coming through this port to the motor so we know that it's not clogged. We know that um, the problem is not in the cup because I've already checked the filter and it's not too bad. Um, so that's all good. The problem is really somewhere heading down to the motor. So whether or not that was an issue with like warped plastic or something else going on, I don't know, but we're gonna have to dig into them and see what's going on and see if something came loose in the motor or something like that. Uh, it's a very interesting problem. I've never seen, because the motor sounds fine. I mean, the motor absolutely sounds, you know, like it should. do see there it is that's the problem let's get this off of here well that won't be getting out of the way anytime soon so what I see here is that this has to come off in a specific way. 
So we're gonna have to turn this all the way around, past the stop, there we go. And now this comes off and now the hood should be free. There we go. So this right here, I talked in the past, let's zoom in a little bit. I've talked in the past on vacuums about the uh, suction bypass valve. Um, so when a vacuum hits an immovable force, like you put your hand over the hose, the natural inclination in that situation would be for it to pull, pull and cre continue to create a negative vacuum as much as that motor has power to do, which is far more than is safe. Um, you know, it would start to rip the skin off of your hand, right? So what manufacturers do is they put in these little safety relief valves. What that does is when it hits that immovable object, let's say your hand, um, it's going to start bypassing air into the motor uh, at a certain point so you don't create too powerful of a vacuum where it becomes unsafe. And that's what, that's what this is doing right here. Now, the intake for this guy, just drop that out. That is a teeny tiny motor. Um, so this right here is supposed to be the motor's intake, but it is directed to here. So it's just scooping up air from the outside into the motor and exhausting it backwards. This almost feels as though it was manufactured incorrectly. I don't know how. So again, it's intaking air from right here and just bypassing the rest of the system. This has blank grates on it, so they're not actually, there's no breathing going on here. That's a, a fake grate. I almost feel as though this part, it looks symmetrical top to bottom. I feel as though it should be reversed this way. Um, see if I can get it off of here. So essentially what's happening is the air is coming into the motor through here, through this center stack. So here is the intake coming down to here. Intake comes down to here. And then what it is supposed to do is it's supposed to intake through this port right here, but all it's doing, this is just a blank spot. Um, this is reversed, so it's just breathing outside air and nothing is going through the vacuum system itself. What's weird is, I don't know when this happened because there's dirt in here. So, very, very weird. Okay, so wow, that is that is mangled. 
So that is all correct. We just need to take this and flip it this way. Because this is the exhaust. This side is the intake. So we need to have the exhaust coming out through this port here and through right here. But we need to have this intake sealed off. Which it was not. So if we put this back together like this, in theory, everything should be correct. Guys, this is really, really strange. I don't know how dirt got in here if it's never been actually pulling through the suction chamber. I mean, there's a little bit of dirt in here. At some point this was working. So really, all a vacuum is, is just an air pathway. You've got to follow it from its entry point and just follow it all the way back. And what we found was that there was a spot where the pathway diverged from where it was supposed to be going. That's, that's essentially what we found. Again, I don't know if this was a manufacturer defect or if this was something that somebody else messed with. I mean, we've never worked on this vacuum. He wasn't in the system. so how this happened I have no idea okay so now this piece goes right over here nope. if anybody if anybody uh, watches this video and has found a similar situation, let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm really intrigued now to see if this was something that maybe a few were manufactured like this off the line. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick, just a quick test, test my theory here. Yeah. So now all of this is sealed. It's it's sealed. The air comes down through here, diverts this way, down here, down through here, and into the motor. That is the correct pathway. Um, this is the exhaust. It's supposed to be blowing air, and this back out into the room, and it was just reversed. Really interesting very unusual. I don't know. Hmm. Very, very strange. I know I'm just repeating myself over and over again, but I'm a little bit baffled. We're going to stop right here and see if this being clipped in here will allow us to get good suction from this inlet. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to plug it back in again. All right, so now we're going to go and see. 
and see if he's picking up. Yeah, so that did it. It is all set and ready to go. Again, I've never seen anything like that before where there were indications that it worked at some point, but there was a part that was reversed. I don't know what was, I don't know if this thing ever worked or if somebody messed with it, I don't know. But in any case, we got it taken care of. So uh, I hope that was interesting. Let me know down in the comments if you have ever owned a Bissell that did this or if you have one that did it and you were looking for a solution and this helped. If it did help or you enjoyed this content, please uh, you know, repay us the favor by uh, clicking subscribe and clicking the bell. We'd really appreciate that. And give us a thumbs up. That really helps with the YouTube algorithms. Uh, but in any case, I'm Matt with House of Vacuums. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next video. Bye.